Hi, I'm Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrock on the Pinpoint 12 Forecast Center. You've clicked on the uh, Weather Now link. Storm is moving in right now. Uh, some heavy rain and the potential for some uh, damaging wind. Uh, take a look at the, the wind advisories, which haven't changed. A high wind advisory for the entire area from um, this evening right on through uh, all of Thursday. And a high wind warning. Uh, for the Cape and the Islands, uh, feeling a little more concerned about uh, the potential for some damaging wind and damaging wind gusts. So we've gone from a pinpoint weather alert to a severe weather alert, just uh, on the cautious side of things as far as, uh, again, the potential for some uh, damaging wind. So here's the situation. Uh, we've been talking about the, the heavy rain, which is moving in right now, strong straight line wind gusts, and at least a moderate chance of some scattered power outages. And yep, that is the word tornado. And while the chance is very small, a very low risk, it is a chance nonetheless. And the reason why we talk about this is that we've noticed that some storms on Doppler radar offshore and near Long Island, New York, have, have exhibited some signs of rotation. There's a lot of uh, what we call a wind shear, very strong winds in the low levels of the atmosphere that actually change direction with height. So some thunderstorms may have some spin to them, and whether or not we can get a you know a quick water spout or a quick brief isolated tornado remains to be seen. The chance is low, but obviously worth mentioning, and we'll certainly watch the situation very closely over the next uh, several hours. Let me show you Narragansett, and you can just see the flag snapping in the wind here. So the sustained winds have picked up, and the wind gusts have picked up as well. So these, these of course, uh, these are straight line winds, and th that'll be the more common wind damage uh, sporadic tonight through tomorrow. So some isolated power outages, uh, tree limbs and power lines, and things like that. Uh, the wind gusts are starting to tick up. Look at both um, westerly and especially Groton now at 45, uh, 44 miles per hour. And we're seeing gusts to 60, just a few of our offshore buoys just south of Long Island, New York. So that is somewhat concerning as far as the potential for some damaging wind. So what to expect? Well, the heaviest rain about now through 3 o'clock in the morning, 1 to 3 inches of soaking rain over a short period of time will cause some localized street flooding. Initially, the winds are strong out of the east-southeast tonight and then strong out of the west uh, for Thursday. One thing that the, most of the rain is actually tonight. I don't see a lot of rain for Thursday. There'll be a lot of wind. Not much rain for Thursday other than some isolated afternoon showers. And the impacts, as we talked about, some drainage flooding and isolated power outages, tree limbs and damage to uh, power lines and things like that. So uh, for tonight, we've bumped up the, uh, the weather alert from, um, from medium to severe on, on, the, uh, on the chances that some of this wind will be strong enough for some, some damage. And then we'll bring it back down to yellow on Thursday. Again, not as wet, but still some strong wind. And then better by Thursday night and back on track for Friday. And here's what we're watching. It's um, this little curl you see. Let me highlight it uh, right in here. Uh, intensifying storm off the New Jersey coastline. Some rotation right in this general area embedded within some of these downpours and some of these thunderstorms. So what we have are, are two storm systems. And it's the secondary one that is off the uh, New Jersey coastline. It's intensifying rapidly. It'll be working in now through about... Uh, two three o'clock in the morning that's the, the best chance for a real strong wind and heavy rain once we get beyond say three four o'clock in the morning it's mostly wind and not much in the way of rain so we take a look at the forecast at 11 o'clock tonight it is just whipping with strong uh, wind rain and thunder through midnight up until about one two o'clock in the morning but notice how the storm late tonight tomorrow morning lifting up into northern new england what that does is it takes all the heavy rain up into northern new england and we're left kind of dry on Thursday morning. Still very windy. Wind is still an issue, but the heavy rain is pretty much gone. And then during the afternoon, I think we'll get some showers, though just kind of nuisance stuff Thursday afternoon, so I'm not anticipating uh, flash flooding or heavy rain, but the strong wind does continue, even though it is a little drier on Thursday. Uh, take a look at forecast. At 11 o'clock, a lot of colors on your screen there. That's heavy rain and thunder and strong wind through, this is uh, 2 o'clock in the morning, still kind of howling with strong wind and thunder. And then notice by just before dawn, it's gone. It's up in northern New England. I wouldn't be surprised if there's actually some breaks of partial sun Thursday morning, but still very windy. And then the clouds will tend to fill back in in the afternoon. We'll get a few random showers in the afternoon, but nothing really heavy. But again, the strong winds will continue out of the west uh, Thursday afternoon and into early on Thursday evening, and then clearing out later Thursday night. So uh, strong gust on Thursday morning, briefly drier. Temperatures starting off in the 40s and 50s, and then during the afternoon, clouds fill back in. No heavy rain, but some, some nuisance scattered showers, and still getting uh, some strong wind gusts up to uh, 40, 50 miles per hour. 
and then better weather Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So changes or some updates that uh, uh, we have made uh, include uh, the severe weather uh, alert now, the potential for some damaging wind uh, later on this evening and during the overnight, and still some strong wind but drier weather on um, on your Thursday. Of course, Eyewitness News starts at 10 o'clock on Fox Providence, and again on WPRI Channel 12 at 11 o'clock. We'll keep you updated. Thanks for logging in.